Hello, welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video. Today's video is one of my favourites to film, it's a sit down charity shop haul. <gasps> Do you know what, I haven't been to the charity shop, I haven't been to the charity shops in a fair bit. Um, it's really difficult to like time your day around a napping baby and sometimes you just don't want to run around the shops with them. Um, when you could be doing something fun with them. So I definitely have to pick my moments when I go, but I managed to go um, this week and oh my gosh, I got so many great things, like so many great things. Let me tell you, buying children's stuff in a charity shop is great, amazing. You get so much goodness. And um, I'm really impressed with the bits I found today. Really happy, I got some clothes, books, games. I've got like the charity shop bug back where I want to like, constantly pop into them and see what I can find. One man's trash is another man's gold. Is that the saying, I think? Something like that. So, sit down, get comfy, get chilled out, have a look what I got. I love um, browsing at what people find in a charity shop. And yeah, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first thing I picked up for £1.50, look how great this is, farm wooden dominoes. Absolutely amazing. Oren has a little obsession now with animals. Takes after his mama. But these are in absolute mint condition. It's incredible. So first of all, a lovely wooden toy. You really can't go wrong with like the wooden toys. It's from Big Jigs Toys Limited. It's just dominoes, but with farm animals. So this is gonna be great to play with him. Not only is he gonna enjoy chewing these things, um, but he can, kind of like get used to you know that those are sheep there's pigs there's cows we can make the noises together we can match them up he can try and match he's obviously a bit too young at the moment to like play dominoes um, but we can certainly get like good use out of them already and these are like long lasting style toys i just think it's absolutely great it's honestly in such great condition like the actual bricks themselves look like they've barely been used. Like there's a few scuffs on the box outside, but the bricks themselves are in mint condition. I'm really impressed with this. This was £1.50, which is a great price for something like this. I can imagine it being like £10 brand new. So yeah, that was something I could not leave behind when I saw it. The next thing, honestly, I'm absolutely buzzing about this. A ramp racer. Do you know how much kids love these things? I was actually thinking of buying him one for Christmas, one of his Christmas presents. Um, and then I saw it in the charity shop. Now the box looked scuffed. So I thought, oh, you know, I wonder like what condition it is in. It was brand new, untouched. Everything's still in its plastic coverings. Um, I've taken it out of the box now. I had to get it, I had to give it to him straight away when we got home and to let him play with it. He loves it, by the way. This thing is is a winner with toddlers, with babies and toddlers. Yeah, it was it was literally brand new, completely unused in the plastic. I'm so impressed. I'm so happy with it. So it's Chad Valley, I think that's sold on Argos. Um so it was probably quite affordable in the first place, but it was four pounds from the charity shop, completely brand new untouched. Save me some money because kids don't need too many toys but when you do get them something they can be so expensive, just so expensive and kind of just overpriced a lot of the time. So finding this in the charity shop was amazing. He really loves it. He loves um, putting the cars along the floor as well and making the car noises. He loves just putting them on the ramp at different levels and seeing like go from the top or from the middle and so far we've not lost a car yet so that's great for my niece i picked up a couple of things for christmas she's gonna absolutely be over the moon with it so first of all an insect puzzle unopened brand new 20 no 50p unreal unreal she really loves puzzles and um i know she's got like lots of disney puzzles and she just really loves doing puzzles and my sister-in-law loves doing puzzles with her. So I know they'll really appreciate this and putting together the insects. That's just like a little present for Christmas, just something else on top of like whatever else I get her. Um, for only 50p, you absolutely cannot go wrong. It's from the Jigsaw Puzzle Company. Grasshopper, Butterfly, Ladybird, Leaf Insect and Kikada. What's that? Kasada. Mm. And then also for my niece, I got her this because she loves the tiger who came to, came to tea. If Oren was a little bit older, I would be giving it to him, but he's not quite there yet. So this was one pound. 
and it's a tiger who came to tea party book so i was really intrigued when i was in store i was like well what does that mean so basically it's how to throw tiger who came to tea style party um so you can make tiger bunting and um, you can draw on balloons to make them animals oh look it's what's that paper chains that's a nice idea tiger who came to tea paper chain page with the instructions on how to make it that's really nice i really like that party bags originally 10 pounds so that's nine pounds saved oh gosh she's gonna love that oh some of the stickers have gone that's okay that's okay there's still plenty of stickers left i mean as a child who can resist a sticker i just thought she will love this she'll love flicking through it she's only three years old recently three so um oh how to make tiger stripe bread that's so nice i just thought it was a good find for someone her age she can flick through that play with it she loves the tiger who came to tea she can make some paper chains it's really not bad for someone that age she's gonna love that so those two are for my niece or my other niece who is now recently turned seven i can't believe that i got a load of maths books <laughs> she's, she's gonna love it because these are like fun um but one two three four four five six seven books for three pounds all unused how incredible is that um so it's for ages five to seven you often find a lot of things and like gcse and a level ages by the way so um and a lot of them are like unused or not drawn in or anything but i just thought do you know what she'll have fun with that to her it will be like a game she can do it with my sister i used to actually quite enjoy the maths uh, learning books growing up there's loads of gold stickers in the progress charts all completely unused i checked all of them in the charity shop i just think that is absolutely fantastic they are fun games in there and there's fun animals and just at that age I think she will enjoy doing it. Maybe if she was 16 and I was giving her a maths book she would be a bit miffed by that. <laughs> but at this age it's just a game and the stickers there and you're kind of learning as you go. But as they were completely unused I thought I can't go by without getting them. Oh wasp has just come in. Oh it's gone out. That's good. Um, I just thought I can't leave these and not buy them for her. And then I got an arrangement of books. Books are my favourite thing to buy in a charity shop, like my ultimate favourite. So first thing I purchased was Revolting Rhymes by Roald Dahl. Illustrations by Quentin Blake as well. But I, th I am sure I remember these growing up. Like it basically tells lots of stories in rhymes and makes them all a bit eerie for kids. Um, so I couldn't actually resist getting this. So it's got Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. But what it does, these like revolting rhymes, it makes, it brings the stories to life a little bit more. It makes them a bit more interesting. Um, you get to say like silly words and say people stink and stuff like that while reading the rhymes. Um, oh look, just an absolute classic. I'm going to have to read this. I was thinking to buy it just to keep on the bookshelf. My niece might love this as well, but I don't know. I'll see if she likes it. It's definitely for older children. Um, so when Oren's older, he will love, he will really enjoy it. But I'm gonna read a few today and just see what they're like. So that was 50p. For 50p, again, I put Horrible Histories, Frightful First World War. This is gonna be for my nephew. He's just recently turned 11. And um, I remember growing up, my nan got me a big collection of Horrible Histories. I think I learnt and remembered the most about history from reading those books. I went to a great school, uh, but my history teachers that I had just didn't bring it to life as much as I wish they had. Um, whereas reading the horrible history books, like I know so much history from those books because these books bring history to life. They make it really memorable by how gory and scary and funny the stories are i mean the egyptian horrible history is my favorite but this is frightful first war um you can tell it's been read but it's still in good condition but it teaches you i'm gonna read this before i give it to my nephew they're not too big it's definitely like child friendly book yeah 5.99 and i purchased it for 50p and i think he's gonna absolutely love it noses are red my feet are blue there's lice in my pants and the rats ate the stew the army who was obviously on the front line but it's going to really bring it to life for him he will learn a lot about world war one 
whilst enjoying the read. Um, so it's not a chore to read this type of thing and you don't think you're learning, but as I said, like so much I learned from these books growing up. I found this completely unused, Julia Donaldson, The Paper Dolls. I was, I've been really intrigued by this one. It just looks really nice, like The Paper Dolls. So I bought that for one of Oren's books for the bookshelf. He absolutely loves reading and I love Julia Donaldson books. So that was also, that was a pound. For 50p, I purchased Alice in Wonderland, the storybook. Um, I really like the illustrations. They're a bit eerie, a bit weird. And again, I thought, you know what? I wanna read that to Oren. Um, I don't think I've ever read Alice in Wonderland. I've obviously watched the films, but I can't remember reading it. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. We also purchased Trivial Pursuit, the Genus Edition. We Googled what Genus Edition is and it's just like the complete original. So this is like literally the original general knowledge. Do you know what? I haven't actually opened it yet. It feels like it's nice and heavy, like it's got all the necessary pieces in there. Oh my God. I mean, that board looks... It looks like brand new oh it's brand new it's brand new this thing is like 30 pounds online it's brand new still in the plastic i can't get over how good it is going to a charity shop don't know if you can see that one pound 50 brand new a 30 pound game like if you're going to waterstones and look for true real pursuit they're so expensive now um and yeah we love like playing games, we love having our friends over, playing board games. I mean, that just looks great. Amazing. It comes with these, which I assume you put your cards in. Isn't that amazing? I'm buzzing about that. Anyway, that's an epic find. Very happy with that one. And then we've got a couple of clothes items. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot I got those. Crap, are they okay? Oh, they need a wash. I also purchased some very bougie sherry glasses. Um, I was only gonna get two, but it was £1.50 for all three, if you purchase all three. One of them's like the gold is coming off, it looks like it was put in the dishwasher. But these two are pretty good condition, they need washing, um, but they're just little gold rimmed sherry glasses. And I thought, do you know what, that's a little bit bougie. At Christmas time with the sherry, you need, you need to be a bit bougie in my opinion. Um, and I just thought they looked really nice. Like they look Christmassy, they look festive. So I'm gonna give them a wash, put them in the cupboard for Christmas, which is not too long away now. Um, and then we can have a nice sherry on Christmas day or Christmas Eve and um, yeah. I mean, they probably weren't too expensive in the first place if the gold is coming off. But for £1.50, I think they look nice. Um, and then we got a couple of clothes items. So Lawrence got himself um, and you jump her. This is originally from Gap, which is great. Size medium, great um, quality. There's no holes in it. It's still, it's obviously been well looked after. 95% cotton and 5% cashmere. This was three pounds for a Gap jumper that is in prime condition. So we'll put that in the washing machine. And then in my color, one of my colors, um, if you, when I say that, some people are probably like, what does she mean, one of her colours? I got my colours done, which is like a process where you visit a colour analysis and they look at all your skin tone and skin depth and eyes and I don't know, I think it's worth the money. I think it's really good. It was a birthday present um, and I'm an autumn colour person. I'm on the autumn colour spectrum. So I have specific colours that I should wear and specific colours I shouldn't wear. And teal, thank God, because it's like my favourite colour, is one of my colours. So I just got this really nice oversized sweater jumper thing. This is originally from H&M. I love H&M clothes. In size large, I normally get jumpers um, a few sizes above my size because I love jumpers to be like a bit oversized. Um, and yeah, it's got a little hole on the back. It was only... It was three pounds, not bad. Once it's washed, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. So I personally think I got some amazing finds today in the charity shop. I only went to one charity shop as well, by the way, um, Bernardo's. And yeah, I'm really impressed with what I got. I really love hearing what you guys get from the charity shops, like your favorite buys. Um, it really encourages others to go charity shopping and charity shopping is really good for the environment 
and obviously good for charities and things like that so give it a go let me know what you find i hope you enjoyed today's video i'm gonna go tidy all this away put the stuff in the wash and um yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video i'll see you guys again really soon for a new one bye